Hey everyone, uh, I just wanted to do uh, just a surprise reading. Um, I'm packing up my stuff and um, I just, you know, I'm starting to pack my cards and I wanted to do something before I put them in a box. So I decided the best thing to do is do a quick reading for, for everyone this week for this channel. Um, so this will be a reading for today, the uh, November 2nd to, let's say, Saturday, whatever that day is. Um, I guess that's the 6th or 7th or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm moving back home. Yay. Um, I'm not really thrilled about it, but hey, you know, some things happen and, you know, I got, you know, I had to make that hard decision to go back home and, you know, it is what it is. So, um, for this reading, I feel like it's, uh, it comes up a lot, uh, when I give readings to people, especially for the first time when I do a reading for them, this, this thing comes up a lot. Uh, and it's actually something that I like to speak about to people and kind of, you know, encourage them to, to kind of step out the box. And th this is what this reading is basically saying, uh, to us this week. Uh, it's saying that, you know, it, it's, it, you have to embrace yourself, know what's inside your box, know, know what's, you know, know what your tools are to, to, to do what you need to do. Um, you know, know, as an, you know, an artist wise, I would say, you know, know your colors before you start to paint. And, and this is kind of the, the uh, first card that, that comes up, which is the queen of, um, pinnacles. And she is a card that, she fully knows who she is, and she knows, you know, what element she is, but she refuses just to be put in a box. She refuses to, to stick with her own crowd, and she, she likes to mingle with everyone. It doesn't matter what element they are. Um, so, and that's what this card is kind of telling you, for you know, first off in this reading. It's, it's saying, you know, you need to embrace yourself. And you need to go out there and, and let people know you're out there, you know, um, show them what you can do, you know, just, just don't contain it all inside it and just keep it inside and, and, and then let it fester, you know, go out there and do something with it. You know, you're not helping the world by not doing anything, just taking up space and just, you know, reading books and, and, and doing nothing, you know, you've got to do something, um. Even if it's going out there causing trouble, if that's your thing. Um, for the second card, this card is kind of telling us um, it is the uh, the Seven of Wands, and it's actually reversed. And this card, um, it's it's essentially a card that's saying that you're doubting yourself, and at the same time you're kind of making fears that are not there. Uh, which is is further uh, stimulating this 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 fear that you have, stimulating the self doubt that you have, and it's telling you that, you know, take a moment and to really open your eyes, really awaken to what's there, really understand uh, the reality of the situation. Uh, don't don't insert things that are not there because that's not going to help you in the end. That's only going to further your demise. Uh, it's going to, you know, make, you know, that, that gift that you have become a curse because it's, it's not doing nothing and you, you, you know, you might get um, a little, little, you know, sad about it, a little, you know, intense about that, that you're not doing nothing with it. And that in itself will cause, you know, a chain reaction and, Fear is, it's a horrible thing and it can overtake things and, you know, doubt is really the start of fear, I think. And you should really, you know, check that be before it gets out of control. You start making these fears and the next thing you know, you're just, you're just keeping yourself in your box because you're afraid that, you know, I have this gift and I want to put it out there, but everyone's going to criticize me. Everyone's going to make fun of the things that I do. And the thing is... Yes, they will. They will. They will probably laugh at your work. They will probably say that it's horrible. But it's up to you to defend yourself, to defend your work. You know, the more passion you have for something, the more likely that you're going to defend it, and the more likely you're going to put your point of view out there. And that, in, in itself, will make you unique. 
will make you uh, stand out. Um, so if you can't fight for it, if you can't, you know, defend it, um, there, there's something wrong there. That means maybe you don't love it as much as you think. Um, maybe you, sh you should uh, check into that. Um, before I go on a rant, I probably should go on the other card. Um, the next card is really is a card about you know um, nostalgia. The six of chalices, uh, or the six of cups, rather. Um, it's a card that that that's telling you to you can remember your past, and you can understand where you come from, and you can incorporate in the, in that into your life. But don't get so stuck in the past, so bogged down by that, that you don't live in the present, you don't live in the future. Um, a lot of people, you know, when they come out of high school, you know, later on in life, you know, they have kids, and then when in their 30s, they look back and wish, you know, it, it was like when they were in high school. You can't, you can't, you can never go back to the past, but you can you can look to the past and remember the things that made you happy and bring them into your future. You know, if you had kids when you're young and then you're older now and you look you look back and you remember that you used to go out and hang out with your friends, you used to go to the movies, well maybe that's something you should do now to make yourself happy. You know, yes you can sacrifice for your kids, but if you're unhappy, if you are you are that um miserable in a sense, how's that going to help your kids? Because you're just going to pass off that emotion to your kids. You know, kids will learn from everything that you do. Uh, and that's something that a lot of parents can't grasp that. They think that, you know, do, a, do as I say, not as I do. And that's, that's not something that happens. You know, a lot of parents, um, don't have the rationale that they don't understand that you know if you're angry every day and you come home and you yell at your kids you can't yell at them when they're teenagers and they grow up and everything they do is to be angry every emotion that they have are very angry emotions you cultured that into your kids and that's why you know this reading is telling you uh, don't don't pass it off go you know Look, look to your past and remember the things that made you happy. Uh, bring those into your present. Bring those into your future because it's actually going to help everyone around you in the end, and it's going to help you too. You know, the the better off you are, the more happy you are, the more likely that you're going to uh, promote a sense of community around you that's happy. Um, if you're a negative person and you're complaining all the time and you gossip. What type of friends are you going to bring to you? You know, it's going to be people that are gossiping all the time. And in the moment when you need their help, they're not going to help you because they're too busy over in the corner somewhere else gossiping about you. And then that's just, that's plain reality of things. I feel like I kind of went off on a rant here, but um, I hope that's okay. Um, so basically, this reading uh, is more... It's more saying that, you know, you need to step out your box. You know, you need to understand who you are first. You know, obviously, you know, that that's um, that's kind of what the card says in the beginning. But the other part of the card is saying that, you know, once you figure yourself out and you understand who you are, it's, it's time to step out the box. It's time to go out there and bring it to the world. Otherwise, you know, you're, you're no good to yourself and you're no good to the world. Um, and I don't mean to say that to be very harsh, but that, that's, you know, that's really the truth. You know, if you get a job somewhere and you're not doing anything for them, you're not making them money, you're not helping them make money, what's going to happen? They're going to fire you. They're going to let you go. It's, it's the same thing in the world. If, if you're not promoting something around you, you, whether it's yourself and then, you know, helping the community around you, whether it be your kids whether it be your friends, you know what something's going on. You you need to check that. You need to to look into what's going on. Um, it's you know you can't be a shut in and expect to be completely happy because the the reality of things is um, 
happy people do things. And then that that's just, you know, reality. Uh, you know, science has proven, you know, they've did several studies that, you know, all these people seem happy and they are really happy. What's what's the common denominator denominator and it is happy people do things. So if you're not happy right now, um, you need to figure out, you know, something inside yourself that you can do and go out go out there and do things. Um, I think that's all I'm going to say about this reading before I really go on a rant. So to kind of like put it in sh in the short really is, you know, this this reading is really telling you to, you know, look inside yourself and bring that out outside into the world, you know. If you have trouble doing that, look to your past. Remember uh, remember when you were a kid and all the things that you're doing to make yourself happy. You know, just because you grew up doesn't mean you had to lose those things. You can bring those back into your life. Um, and the, your, the thing that is really keeping you or anyone else um, from attaining your dream or whatever your happiness, whatever your end goal that you have set for yourself, is that you are making up all these fears, you are making up all these uh, the self-doubt, and it's just festering inside you. And that's something you need to, to figure out how to get rid of. And so that's that's basically what this card is saying, or these cards are saying. Um, I hope this reading was good, and I hope I didn't completely ramble off and go off topic. But you guys have a great week.